hair care, nails, hair removal, exfoliation, skin care, oral hygiene, and relaxation. Hey y'all, it's Olive Destiny and welcome to my spa routine. Let's start off with hair care. I've already washed my hair. I'm going to take the Lovely Bees Oh Honey Moisture Mask and apply that to my hair in four sections. I did recently film a wash day routine after braids, so I will link that video for you all down below. I'm just going to go ahead and clip those sections away, and I will sit underneath my Layla Ali hooded dryer to deep condition my hair for 10 to 15 minutes. To check out my full wash day routine, I'll have it linked in the description box for you all down below. But of course, you all know I like to multitask, so while we allow my hair to deep condition, we're going to move on to nails. This nail tutorial was included in maintenance week number two on my channel. It's been well over a month since I've done that, and of course it's time now to take them off. The most important part that you will need to remove your own nails is 100% acetone nail polish remover will not soak off fake nails. So I'm going to use my nail clipper to trim down the nails. I do have 3D flowers on my nails currently so sometimes it's hard to get underneath the nail but I'm just going to go ahead and use a regular nail clipper to do the best that I can to trim down the nails. You want to wet the cotton ball and place it on top of the nail and then just clip on the little nail soaker. So if you don't have clips like I'm using, then you can definitely use aluminum foil. It works the exact same way, just with the cotton ball and wrap that around the nail. Just don't be stingy with the acetone because you'll be waiting forever if you put like a little dab. The point is to get enough of the acetone on the nail to really soak it off and make it gooey. That way you can file it off easy. You can also open up the cotton ball and break it in half. That way you're stretching your products to last you a longer amount of time. I like to wait about 15 minutes before I begin fouling, so maybe you can go by that as well. And I've been wearing acrylic nails since probably 2010. I've never really gotten damaged, brittle, or weak nails from wearing acrylic. To whom it may concern, please stop biting off the nails and prying them off using thread and then claiming that acrylic is damaging to the nails. Signed, all acrylic powders around the world. What's going on? Pause until I come back! That thing is it's just, what's really going on, <laughs> man? No! <sighs> we know we're going to get our lives. My bro. life is over. Girl, you got to be kidding. What is this? This just April. Okay. <laughs> we the, the world is over. <laughs> this is my grave. This cannot be real. My birth, oh my God. Actually, let me take these off. I know you all like for me to give you time frames on this, but it really depends and varies because everyone's length is different, the thickness of your acrylic is different, so just keep soaking the nails, foul off what has dissolved, don't force off anything that hasn't, and if you have any 3D, once it begins getting all dissolved you like, you'll be able to foul that off. And this method works the best for me to remove my nails without any damage. Voila, there you have it. <laughs> And if you like to get acrylic extensions on your toes or if you like gel on them, like gel pedicures, this method works the same way for the feet as well. You can use a sugar scrub to remove all of the excess and apply some oil to the nails. We're going to come back to them later, but for now, let's move on to hair removal. Never fear, Nair is here. <laughs> I should edit that out. But no, let's keep going. We have an entire nine minutes left. So we're not using anything fancy. I just use Nair. I picked up the sensitive formula one this time. Claims to be 100% natural with coconut oil. But we're just going to keep going. I understand marketing purposes. It caught my attention. I purchased it. Go accomplished. Don't exceed 10 minutes. And also avoid the armpits. In the meantime, between time, multitasking at its best, I'm going to take the Petty Scrub Foot Buffer. And I'm just going to thoroughly wet the sponge and squeeze it to form a creamy lather. This is good for exfoliating and massaging all over the body. While doing this, you definitely want to pay special attention to any areas that are in need of a little TLC. So I'm just going to dampen my feet as well. 
and this you can use every day or as needed to nourish invigorate and revitalize the area in between pedicures I like to sort of exfoliate my feet to keep them nice and soft that way when I do my pedicures I don't have much work to do girl special thank you to my subscriber who gifted me this spongeable for my birthday finally used it and I absolutely love it before we exceed 10 minutes I'm using a washcloth to wipe off this excess nair it does come with a sponge that you can use but once I use it the first time I don't like to hold on to it so I just use a washcloth and then I put that in the hamper so I'm proceeding with my shower I know y'all are wondering what I'm doing in there I finally opened my buff city soap this one is lavender and shea it smells absolutely amazing so I'm basically washing my body with that using a towel a clean towel not the same near towel and I'm also using the spongeable again I used it on the elbows the knees the now we're going to go ahead and exfoliate. Today I'm using the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub. This one is Hawaiian Cuckoo. I love the Tree Hut Sugar Scrubs. Whenever I run out, I always just purchase one that I haven't tried yet. A DIY version of this would be a mixture of sugars and oils that you have at home. And I just basically massage this all over the skin. Uh, but of course, hello, YouTube and privacy. I'm only showing you all my legs. Next up on the list, we have skincare. If you saw my original maintenance week video, I introduced this kit to you all, but I decided to hold off on using it since I did dermal planning on my face. Dermal planning is shaving of the face, and I didn't want to introduce too many new products in that same sitting. But nevertheless, girl, today is that day. So inside of the kit, we have different options for face masks, facial cleansers, as well as moisturization products. I'm going to pull out one of each type to avoid using too many products at one time. But today, I'm using the Body Shop's Tea Tree try saying that three times the skin clearing facial wash is infused with trade tea tree oil and it cleanses blemished skin going to go ahead and basically just use this all over my face I wanted to really get a deeper clean so I'm going to use my Clarisonic Mia 2 they don't really make the Mia 2 anymore so I'll link another Clarisonic product down below if you all want to check it out I absolutely love this brush I don't use it all the time but when I do use it I absolutely love it I'm going to go ahead now and just rinse off my skin why am I narrating obvious steps but either way I like to use a clean paper towel and I pat my skin dry and next up on the list we have oral hygiene because hello a spa night is not complete without it let's brush the teeth if you don't have an electric toothbrush I definitely suggest getting one they're not that expensive and I don't know it makes me feel like I'm at the dentist's office every day this is the toothpaste that I use I love the Colgate one Keeps my teeth nice and white. I have a whitening kit, but I don't really use it like that, so I won't show it to you all. Now we brush for two minutes. I was gonna do the mask, but and it says you let this sit for 10 to 20 minutes and then massage this all over the face. I'm gonna wait and do this tonight instead, but for now I'm going to put on this bliss drench and i've seen a youtuber do a review with this actually pretty packaging Ooh. i like to go here on the forehead Ooh, it's nice and juicy okay then massage it ever so lightly oh this is really hydrating oh my goodness really hydrating wow basically i just wrote upwards because it helps your skin to defy gravity or at least that's what i've heard so that's what i do and i have a roller too but i don't use it often so i don't want to include it <laughs> plus it's like all the way in the fridge i guess i could have to avoid introducing too many new products to my skin at once here we are two days later face mask friday actually and ooh, my bad it wasn't a friday when i filmed this but that's a catchy way to remember to do face masks once a week if you would like to incorporate them into your routine so for the first time i'm trying the i do care cake my day hydrating sprinkle wash off mask and i'm just going to use a spatula to apply a generous even layer to my clean skin i'm going to leave this on for about 10 minutes the thing about this mask it will not dry but it left my skin feeling super hydrating and it doesn't dry because the instruction says that this mask will not dry. And of course, multitasking queen over here, it's time to do the manicure. Wow, that rhymes. I'm going to use this sloughing lotion. If you saw my pedicure tutorial, this came in that kit. And this is going to help to remove all of the dead skin from the hands. You can also work this into the nails as well to 
help you to soften up and loosen up the cuticles once you begin pushing them back if you don't have this you can just use like a sugar scrub to remove dead skin and you can also maybe use like a lotion to soften up the cuticles before pushing them back all of the products that I have used thus far in this video oh look at me thus far <laughs> will be linked in my description box down below I went ahead and washed my hands wiping off all of the excess you can apply some lotion and definitely stop here if you would like but we're gonna go a little step further some of my nails have chipped along the side so I'm going to trim those down so that they all have like a similar length my nails do grow underneath the acrylics but I waited a few days before doing them they get snagged on things and I'm just gonna trim them down it's cool so I'm gonna use a buffer to smooth out the nails for a more even look acetone or you can use alcohol to just wipe off the dust from the nails nail polish also works Take a natural nail base coat and apply that to my nails. The one that I'm using today is by OPI. All the products will be linked in the description box down below. This is another step that you can, you know, stop after. But if you want to do a little bit more to the nails, you can go ahead and pick out your color of choice. Since in my last pedicure tutorial, I chose to use white. I'm going to use this same, no, it's not the same way. I thought I wanted to do gel, but I don't plan on wearing this manicure long. I just have like an Instagram picture that I have in mind that I want to take a photo of. So so I'm going to do a matching mani and pedi and I'm going to go ahead and clean up any mistakes by carefully taking out a q-tip you can definitely clean up your mistakes with this as well as either nail polish or acetone or you can also use a small nail brush to spice up the nails let's add some rhinestones I was going to use a nail glue to add them but it dried out on me so I'm going to use the base coat polish that I used you can also use your top coat but I ran out so I had to just use my base coat again the only thing about that my rhinestones were getting stuck so I had to like improvise since I couldn't slide them around but they gave me a cute design on the ring finger apply that to all of the nails and this is what we have a matching mani and pedi I know nail shops are closed that's why I try to give you all more nail tutorials in this time since I do my nails at home maybe you all can do yours at home too in this time I hope this gives you all a little bit of variety in between me doing the full acrylic nail sets but stay tuned because we have another one coming real soon and if you missed the pedicure tutorial I'll have the link in the description box down below you can definitely space out these beauty tasks along the days which is what I did because it gives you something to look forward to doing each day or if you do plan to do a lot of these steps within the same day just be sure to check the different instructions on different packagings for example your face mask you don't want to let that sit too long that way you won't get any breakouts or you know mess up your skin So great way to go ahead and end my spa night. I'm going to give myself a sweet little treat. You know, why not? We treat ourselves. So I'm going to go ahead and treat myself to some of this banana pudding that my mom brought me and Dominique over for Easter. So I'm going to have a little bit of this. I'm about to watch Money Heist on Netflix. Comment down below. Let me know if you're watching Money Heist and what season you guys are on. I'm currently on season three. So that's like the only thing I'm currently watching besides watching YouTube videos because I don't really watch that much TV. So that's pretty much it for my spa routine my do-it-yourself spa maintenance week at home i hope you all enjoyed it questions and comments leave all of that down below i will have all of the products listed and linked in the description box down below as well if you made it to the end of this video do me a favor more so do yourself a favor and don't forget to subscribe i do have more videos like this on my channel if you check that description box down below girl i got you questions and comments be sure to leave all of that down below and as always i thank you all so much for watching also, there will be a card on the screen right there. It says click to watch more. If you click that, I told you I got you. Go on, click it. Go on, click it. Go on, click it. Ayy. Ooh. Go on, click it. Go on, click it. Ayy. Why are you still here? I know just as much as you know that you want to click to watch another video on my channel. Go on, click it. And I'll meet you at the next video and we can continue chatting.